Hi everybody, I'm Kelly from Cake Boss Software and today I'm going to share with you a delicious recipe for Rice Krispie Treats that will sell like wildfire at markets or bake sales. It's a snap to throw together, only takes about 10 minutes, and you don't even have to turn on the oven. The recipe is Marshmallow Lovers Rice Krispie Treats from the website coconutandlime.com. I'll drop a link in the description so you can visit yourself to read the full recipe description and see the original photos. The combination of melted marshmallows, additional whole marshmallows, and dehydrated marshmallows gives these Rice Krispie Treats a distinctive texture that marshmallow lovers can't resist. I sell out of these at every market I bring them to. So I'm going to price these out in Cake Boss Cloud and then create a package to show the total cost with packaging. First I'll go to Recipes and then I'll click Create New to add a recipe. The name of the recipe is Marshmallow Lovers Rice Krispie Treats. And the category is Bars and I'll click Add. Now the recipe has been started. In the description, I'm going to type coconutandlime.com to remind me where I sourced this recipe. I make these in a 9 by 13 pan and I get 8 large squares, so I'm going to put 8 in my servings. And then I'll flip over to the ingredients tab to add my ingredients. The ingredients are simple. The first is 6 cups of Rice Krispie cereal, or you can use generic. I use generic and it doesn't seem to make a difference. Next is 6 tablespoons butter, 2 recipe calls for 2 10 ounce bags of mini marshmallows. Where I live, bags of mini marshmallows are sold in 10.5 ounce bags, so to simplify this I'm going to enter it as 21 ounces of mini marshmallows, which is of course 10 and a half times 2. So I'll select marshmallows small, the quantity is 21, and the measurement type is ounce. One cup of plain or multicolored dehydrated marshmallows. I sourced mine on Amazon and I'll leave a link in the description. The more you buy, the better the deal you get, so I bought the biggest container. And finally, one teaspoon of vanilla. So now that I've entered all my ingredients, I'm going to be sure and press save. And you can see the total at the bottom is $5.05 .05 for the ingredient cost for this recipe. If I flip back over to the recipe information tab, you can see that because I have entered 8 servings for this recipe, the cost per serving comes out to $0.63 cents a serving. This recipe is now available to Cake Boss Cloud users to be imported into your own recipe collection. Just click Recipes and then click Import Recipes to find it. Be sure to visit coconutandlime.com to read the full directions and you can type them in to the Directions tab on the recipe. When I sell these at market, I package them in a 5 inch plastic clamshell that I sourced on Amazon, and I'll drop a link to those in the description as well. At about 39 cents each, they're a pretty good deal, so I'm going to quickly make a package of one Rice Krispie Square plus its packaging to show you how much the whole thing would cost. So under the Recipes tab, I'll go to Packages, and then I'm going to Create New to add a package, and I'm going to name it One Rice Krispie Square. And the category for this would be cookies and bars. So I'll click Add. And now I've begun the package. Packages are where we can combine several ingredients and materials to come up with the cost for one complete item. So I'm going to go to the Recipes tab and I'm going to add my Marshmallow Lovers Rice Krispies to this package. And I don't have to scroll all the way down, I'll just type M and that will take me very close to the Marshmallow Lovers Rice Krispie Treats. And then I click Add, and now I've added this recipe to the package. Now you'll see that it's added the whole recipe, and this package is just for one square. Since I get eight squares to the recipe, I'm going to change the quantity from one to one eighth. Just click in the field and type to change it. Now you'll notice that I changed the quantity, but the cost per didn't change, and that's okay. 
That's still telling us the cost of the entire recipe. We'll see what the cost for the 1 8 is when we go back to the package information and calculate. Then I'll go to my materials tab and find my 5 inch plastic clamshell and add it. I just typed 5 and that took me right to it and I'm going to click add and now that's been added to the package. Now I'm going to go back to package information and click calculate costs. Now I can see that my total out of pocket cost for one serving packaged is $1.02. For customer price, you can put whatever you will sell these for. Depending on your local market, you could be selling these for anywhere from three, four, or even $5. That's a great return on a recipe that takes only 10 minutes to prepare because the most expensive ingredient in anything you sell is your time. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click the like button and subscribe to be notified when we post new content.